Push. Hit the board. Stretch. 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 931. For five days, competitors were tested day and night with more than two dozen tasks, pushed to their physical and mental limits, never knowing in advance what was coming up next. In the end, Sergeant First Class Edward Hernandez of the Drill Sergeant School was the winner. It's a big responsibility. Uh, it makes me feel good personally, but at the same time it's a big responsibility because you set the example for, for post. When last year's Drill Sergeant of the Year started developing this year's competition, he decided to add surprise challenges and miles of road marching between each event. It was to give the competitors that stress factor. Petter competitors probably could execute a lot of these tasks if they were under normal conditions with a clear head. And the, the tough part about the competition was that it was strategically set up so you will break down mentally and physically. Not only were the competitors tested on how well they could perform certain tasks, at times they were also graded on how well they could teach those tasks. When you are physically hurting and then it start affecting your, your mental capabilities so the, the road march and all the walking we did in the first day and a half was pretty tough. While Hernandez took home the title, all 16 drill sergeants who completed the event took home the admiration of Caveza. These truly are what I believe to be the best 16 drill sergeants on Fort Jackson, regardless of that, how they may have performed on individual tasks, but from what I put them through from Monday to Friday, they definitely have heart and passion. Hernandez will now compete for the TRADOC DSOI title at Fort Monroe in June.